Hi peeps, my name is Zena and I'm Aging Ethically and this video is a tribute to Joaquin Phoenix, particularly his role in the recent movie Joker. Now I have been a fan of Joaquin Phoenix for many, many, many years. I enjoy the fact that he is so vocal for animal rights and for human rights as well. The work that he has done for animal rights, particularly in uh, promulgating a vegan lifestyle, has influenced so many people around the world. He has been vegan since I believe the age of three, so his entire life he has been plant-based and what better testament to the longevity of this lifestyle than a person who has lived his entire life vegan. Not only that, he's at the front lines when it uh, comes to animal protests, when it comes to spreading the message of the horrors that animals endure for animal agriculture, for human folly, for taste preferences. He's right there, right there at the front lines at these protests, just, just really sharing the story of these animals. And it, it just touches my soul in such a way that I, like words can't properly express how much I admire this man for his advocacy and for his talent. He is an amazing actor. I loved him in Gladiator years ago. I particularly loved him in Signs with Mel Gibson. That I think that was the role when I, I really, really noticed him as an actor. I was like, wow, this, this guy is good. He's really good. The movie is about uh, aliens, okay, and uh, an alien invasion uh, on the planet Earth. And Mel Gibson plays the older brother of Joaquin Phoenix and Joaquin was like the skeptical younger brother until he sees on TV actual proof that this alien invasion is underway. That scene where he sees the alien for the first time via news broadcast and his reaction to that was so real and organic. It was like, yes, that's how one would react if you were to see an actual extraterrestrial uh, on TV for the first time or, or, or receive news of an alien invasion. It was just so brilliantly done, just that one scene. I'm gonna actually insert it here without the sound. So yes, uh, I'm a big M. Night Shyamalan fan as well, but this is one of my favorite movies of all time. And you know, there's there's Joaquin there, very young Joaquin Phoenix and Mel Gibson. And I, it, uh, this is another great movie, but Joaquin Phoenix's recent role as the Joker, it was a very dark and gritty interpretation. And if you haven't seen the movie yet, please, please do. It's so well done. It has won the British Academy Film Awards, Critics' Choice Movie Awards, Golden Globe Awards, Grammy Awards, Screen Actors Guild Awards. It has won uh, all different kinds of awards in all different categories from the movie's score and soundtrack to the acting, particularly Joaquin Phoenix for winning Best Actor. Most notably, he just won. He just won an animal rights advocate, vegan, lifelong vegan just won the Oscar for best performance and that's the Academy Award. And I, you know, I, I think you guys get it. I, I'm in love with Joaquin Phoenix. <laughs> so today I am going to use vegan and cruelty-free products and I'm going to recreate his Joker look from the recent movie. Each and every award and acceptance speech that Joaquin Phoenix has delivered has been amazing, not just for animal rights, but for human rights, for equality. He's just such a, a brilliant spokesperson and he used his platform to deliver the most moving speeches. I'm going to read to you his full acceptance speech from the Academy Awards, the Oscars, while I apply this Joker look. The following is the full text of Joaquin Phoenix's passionate winner's speech as he accepted the Best Actor Academy Award 
for Joker. I'm full of so much gratitude right now. I do not feel elevated above any of my fellow nominees or anyone in this room because we share the same love. That's the love of film. And this form of expression has given me the most extraordinary life. I don't know where I'd be without it. But I think the greatest gift that it's given me and many other people in this industry is the opportunity to use our voice for the voiceless. I've been thinking about some of the distressing issues that we've been facing collectively. I think at times we feel or are made to feel that we champion different causes. But for me, I see commonality. I think whether we're talking about gender inequality or racism or queer rights or indigenous rights or animal rights, we're talking about the fight against injustice. We're talking about the fight against the belief that one nation, one people, one race, one gender, one species has the right to dominate, use, and control another with impunity. I think we've become very disconnected from the natural world. Many of us are guilty of an egocentric worldview, and we believe that we're the center of the universe. We go into the natural world and we plunder it for its resources. We feel entitled to artificially inseminate a cow and steal her baby, even though her cries of anguish are unmistakable. Then we take her milk that's intended for her calf and we put it in our coffee and our cereal. We fear the idea of personal change because we think we need to sacrifice something to give something up. But human beings at our best are so creative and inventive. We can create, develop, and implement systems of change that are beneficial to all sentient beings and the environment. I have been a scoundrel all my life. I've been selfish. I've been cruel at times, hard to work with. And I'm grateful that so many of you in this room have given me a second chance. I think that's when we're at our best, when we support each other. Not when we cancel each other out for our past mistakes, but when we help each other to grow, when we educate each other, when we guide each other to redemption. When he was 17, my brother wrote this lyric. He said, run to the rescue with love and peace will follow. This is my version of the Joaquin Phoenix Joker look. I tried to keep the application of the makeup as gritty, as dark, and as ominous as the movie was itself, and I think I did a pretty good job. I have a feeling we're going to be seeing a lot of Jokers this upcoming Halloween, and I guess I've just gotten a jump on that. I want to take a moment to thank Joaquin Phoenix. Who knows, he could watch this at some point. Oh, what a thrill that would be. I wanna thank him for all of his tireless efforts, for being a voice for the voiceless, for discussing veganism on such a global platform, for making it a household discussion, for touching the lives of so many generations of people. I thank you. Please keep doing this work, please, keep promulgating veganism. Please keep going. You are making such a difference in this crazy, crazy world. And I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. If you're a fan of DC Comics, if you are as obsessed with Joaquin Phoenix as I am, <laughs> do go see Joker. You're going to love it. You're going to buy it. You're going to watch it over and over again. You're going to watch it with your friends and get their reactions for the first time watching the movie. You're just, you're, you're thoroughly going to enjoy it. There's a reason why Joaquin Phoenix won so many awards. It's just so brilliantly done and I cannot say enough wonderful things about it. So do go watch it. I post new videos 
every Saturday. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I have so much fun doing this stuff. <laughs> thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being here. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for sharing. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs> You guys, my Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter are all aging underscore ethically. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thank you so much. Bye.